Good afternoon and a very good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the tube. Hope you're feeling grand and always when you're world. Hello there, everybody. Today, we're with tube. Extra video. We are review doing the final. What's wrong with my head? We're doing the final review and uh, my final impressions on this before we do a shootout with the Mark One next week uh, of the brand new Boss Katana Gen 3. Uh, I've been playing this amp a bit. I've been playing it as much as I want to because I've been too busy, unfortunately, and that's been kind of getting annoying because it's been kind of sat there looking and going, please play with me, David, and I'm like, I'm too busy. Anyways, you get the idea. I'm, I'm a bit hyper. Bear with me. So anyway, yeah, we're going to do a, uh, we're just going to do a like, full review on this today. And what I thought what I would do is I would kind of like, what? I'd kind of do it in these sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you... Um, all the different voices, so there's one added voice on the Gen 3 and it's called Pushed and you heard it in the intro and good gravy lords 
it sounds like what it is. It sounds like a pushed amp, especially when you plug a Les Paul into it. Holy hell, Lois, it sounds a bit amazing. So that's the intro jam sound you heard, but um, I will show you it again in a bit, with, uh, say with the, with the lemon drop. Um, but it's got acoustic, clean, pushed, crunch, lead, and brown mode. Uh, so you've got six modes now instead of five. And I'm going to go through them all today. Uh, acoustic mode, what I'm going to do on acoustic is I'm going to plug an acoustic guitar into it at some point. But on the Mark One and the Mark Two, I always use the acoustic channel for my pedal board. So the first thing we're going to do, people with tube, is going to put my pedal board into this thing, which I haven't done yet because I've been saving it for this video. So in a minute, I'm going to unplug this lead, which is just going, the intro jam had no pedals, it's just the amp. Um, and we're going to plug my pedal board into this, and I'm going to go room mic, and I'm going to see, I'm giving my impressions on what it sounds like, and I'm going to actually dial it in on camera. I'm not going to touch it until then, but we're going to use the acoustic mode like I always use. Then after that, we're going to unplug the pedal board, see how it does with pedals. Um, I think we already know how it's going to do with pedals. I think we already know my impression of this thing. I think we already know my final conclusion. Anyway, but let's do it anyway, because you never know. Never say never. But after that, we're going to go through it. So after that, uh, after the pedal board, I'm going to plug an acoustic guitar in, show you the acoustic kind of mode on this, and then we're going to go to the clean setting. I'm going to play something on the clean setting. Play something on the push setting, play something on the crunch setting, play something on the lead setting, play something on the brown mode. Uh, while I'm doing that, I will mess around with some of the effects as well uh, on, on, on the amp. Like, you know, I'm, I haven't used the Tone Studio. I am not going to use the Tone Studio for this video because you don't need it to make this thing sound great. You can get amazing sounds out of the Boss Katana without the aid of the Tone Studio. Tone Studio is just like an added bonus, in my opinion. You know, you get access to more effects. You get certain other little kind of bonuses here. But you don't need it. The Katana's... It was ages until I actually used the Tone Studio. And I I, ne I'm, I was never left wanting anything from these things. They just sound amazing. And you can get so much from just the top panel. You don't need the Tone Studio to do that kind of thing. So, anyway, um, yeah... So yeah, this is the 50. Let's talk Let's talk specs on the 50. I kind of did it in the unboxing video, and I've probably forgot most of them now anyway. But you do have a Bluetooth adapter for this thing. That is sold separately, unfortunately. It doesn't come with the amp. You have to buy that Bluetooth adapter separately, unless you've already got one, in which case, jobs are good. Uh, but again, like I say, Bluetooth adapter for stuff like the Tone Studio and stuff like that is very, very cool. But you don't really need it. You know what I mean? Uh, you got no effects loop. Bear that in mind. I've, al I've already seen a lot of comments on the unboxing video of this one. People saying like, you know, oh, it's still not, still not got any effect. It hasn't, still hasn't got an effects loop. Now, to people like me, that's not a problem because I don't like, I don't use an effects loop. I don't even like effects loops. I reckon they, to me, they just sound sterile and horrible, and I don't like it. It sounds really weird when I run a delay or a reverb for a, an effects loop. I just don't like it at all. So, for me, that's not an issue, but I can understand why. But if it doesn't, if, if having an effects loop is like a, 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 a deal breaker, just go for the 100, you know, because uh, the 100s have the effects loop. Um, you've got the, you know, if you, had it, you can have foot switches on this one. You've got top panel, you've got free band EQ. Uh, I do believe, like all the others, though, this is a four band EQ in this one, but you don't have access to the present style. You didn't on the other 50s. Uh, presence is just set straight up at 12 o'clock. As kind of like um, like a like a factory stock thing, and to alter the presence, you have to go into the tone studio to alter it. But really, on the fifty, there's kind of no need, you know. The, the, in all fairness, the presence at, 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 at like twelve o'clock in general on, on a katana is a good thing. I pretty much run my presence dial all the time at twelve o'clock on every katana I have. Uh, I've never changed it on my original 50 either, which we're going to do the shootout with next week. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, you've got, you know, volume. It's you. Everyone knows what a top panel of a katana looks like. It's, it's exactly the same as it always did. Apart from now, you have that one extra voice called Pushed, again, which you heard in the intro jam. Sounds mega. Uh, I already feel that this speaker might be a tad better than the original Mark I speaker, but again, we'll find that out in the shootout next week because I'm very curious. Um... But, I don't know, there's something in that one. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. And I'll be able to tell, actually, in the pedal board section of this video coming in a sec. Uh, and I'll explain more about that when we get to that. So, I think without further ado, people with tube... Oh, by the way, Bell, this is light. 
It's tiny, it's light, and it's glorious, and it's loud as all hell. I don't know how Boss do that. I really don't know how they do that. These things, you could gig with this, no problem. No problem. Even if, if it's mic'd up, Ace, if it's not mic'd up, I still think you've got enough volume. These things are shockingly loud for what they are. They're insane. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Let it's it, you know all that aside. Let's make some noise. So again, like the first thing we're gonna do is gonna put my pedal board into this. And see how it takes pedals. So uh, I'm gonna move the camera back over there. Get the uh, get the SM58 on. Get the room mics on so I can talk to you while we're doing it. And uh, get Mr. White as well because I haven't brought him in with me yet. But yeah, let's make some noise. I'm gonna do a bit of a tube. So here we go with uh, how does the Katana Gen Three do with my pedal board? So. We're gonna turn the amp to acoustic mode, which is the mode I always use with pedals. Um, I always run it, let's, let, let's try my setting, which is gain all the way up, volume all the way up, no bass, uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, middle at about 12 o'clock and treble at about 11 o'clock. Again, uh, I need to turn off the effects as well. Right. We've got noise. It's probably going to be too loud. Yeah, it's way too loud. Let's turn it down. <laughs> Test over. It it wins. Okay, this is ridiculous. Let's put the reverb in. So that's the Golden Plexi, people who are tuned. Going straight, uh, like, like I say, all, all my pedals are now going into the Katana. Acoustic mode, again, just to let you tell how it's set. Gain all the way up, volume all the way up. Treble is at 11 o'clock, bass is at 12 o'clock. Uh, no, sorry, oh, I can't think straight. I'm getting all overwhelmed here. Um, bass is all the way off, middle is at 12 o'clock, treble is at 11 o'clock, and I've got the reverb now. Mm, let's turn it up a bit more. At one o'clock, just to make my OCD happy. So, this is Golden Plexi. <laughs> That sounds insane. Okay, um, turn the reverb. I'm just gonna turn the reverb down a bit to 11 o'clock and try distortion. <laughs> Thank you. 
Boss Katana, Gen 3, Paddleboard Test, passed with flying colours, in my opinion, Pippa Tube. Uh, let me just turn the camera back up. That's... That's always... That, that to me is like, that's why I look for in an amp when I plug something in, is I want to be inspired to play on it and get lost in it and forget where I am and then remember I'm filming a video and I can't play that loop for about six hours. Excuse me. I have to actually talk. So that's wicked. Okay, so how does it do with pedals? Amazingly. It's so... these, The Katanas, man. Just from Mark 1 to now. Uh, I do feel, like I say, um, the reason I said earlier on, I think I'll know if this has got a bit of a better speaker than the original Mark 1, is the original Mark 1 wasn't a bad speaker. It was amazing. Great speaker. Nothing wrong with it. But it did have this kind of higher frequency kind of whistle in it. It's not a whistle. That's the wrong kind of word to describe it. Um, but there's like a higher frequency. It's very kind of like, not dominant, but it's there, if that makes any sense. This doesn't have it, or not from what I can hear. Normally you can kind of hear it with distortion, but... I can't hear that noise at this point in time. There's, in the, like I say, in the Mark I, there's this kind of frequency that, um, kind of sits there, and it never... Never really bothered me in a live context. Now, I've used my original Mark 1 50 watt a lot live, but when I was playing on my own, I was really aware of it. Like I say, live it doesn't matter because it gets disappeared in the in the ambience of the band and 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 the room. But when you're playing on your own, it's kind of there, and it was always kind of like yeah. I always use I'd end up using going to usually go into my my 100 or something like that or another amp. Uh, but yeah, this one doesn't seem to have it, so that's really cool. Anyway. How does it do with pedals? Like I say, absolutely perfectly. And like I say, I do recommend using the acoustic channel for a pedal platform. Uh, clean channel is really good as well, but I, there's something about the acoustic mode. I don't know what it is. I don't even know why I even decided to even try it in the first place uh, ages ago when I was trying to get these things dialed in. Because uh, for a long time I used the clean channel. When I first got it, I ran my pedal through the clean channel, but I was never 100% happy with it. Uh, and then I tried the acoustic channel one day, and I was just like... So anyway, speaking of the acoustic channel, let's plug an acoustic guitar in, and let's go through the modes now. So basically, what from this point on, uh, I'm going to turn the room mics off. You're just going to hear the SM57. Uh, I'm going to plug an acoustic in um, on the acoustic mode, obviously. I'm going to play around with some of the effects as well, because why not? Uh, then obviously you'll hear the clean channel. Um, I don't know what I don't know what guitars I'm going to use on any of these yet, apart from the push, which I'm going to use the lemon drop again because it does sound glorious. Um, but yeah, so it'll be acoustic, clean, uh, yeah, pushed, crunch, lead, and brown mode. And uh, I'll say I'll, I'll mess around with some of the effects as well and just kind of give you an idea of like you know some of the sounds this thing has in it. Um, EQ wise, I can pretty much guarantee once I get to lead slash brown mode, the EQ will be all on zero. Bass, treble, middle, all turned down to zero. So uh, anyway, without further ado, let me put that on standby, unplug this, and uh, go and get an acoustic guitar, and play some acoustic through this uh, for you. Let's see, let's see what it sounds like with an acoustic, because the original does actually sound pretty good, I've got to be honest. So let's go.
Oh, my God.
Hello YouTube, there you go. I hope the sounds have come across okay. I'm, I'm always terrified about that. But, um, yeah. It... The thing I... I, get, I even got words. I don't even have words. Honestly, though, no, YouTube, it's so inspiring. And again, all the sounds you just heard, literally, as soon as I unplug the pedal board, are all from this. All from the panel as well. No tone studio. Nothing. All from the amp, as it comes. It's just ridiculously inspiring to play through. And you're never kind of like left wanting on anything. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm really excited now. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it today. Actually, you'll see it next Sunday. But I'm doing it today now. I really need to. Do, I need to know the difference between this and the Mark One. So I'm going to film the shootout in a bit. I need to get all this footage edited together and stuff like that. But I'm going to do a shootout later on. But I, because I really need to know the differences. But Boss Katana's man, literally insane. Literally insane. Like, you know, I don't actually have words. I'm going to go because I actually don't have words. Hopefully the sounds have come across okay. Hope you enjoyed this video, Poo Hope you enjoyed all the different voices on this thing. Like I said, I was messing around with the effects on top as well. Uh, lead and bass, uh, lead and uh, brown mode, sorry. I didn't use the EQ. The EQ was all uh, bass, middle and treble were all on zero. Uh, I always use the EQ on crunch, pushed now, and clean and acoustic mode. But when it comes down to like distortion, I, I never use the EQ. I, I, well, I, I do use EQ, but it's on zero, if that makes any sense. And presence is up. But I was messing around with it, but... Another thing as well, people too, before I get off, my battery's nearly dead as well. I've been at it for so long. Um... The, the way these things fill rooms is outrageous. This thing is tiny. It weighs nothing and it's tiny, yet it feels like it's 18 million times bigger than it actually looks. It's insane. And I had to keep turning it down. The thing's so loud. I mean, yeah, I, I didn't get the volume above 9 o'clock. I just didn't get the volume above 9 o'clock. It was loud enough that, like I say... That, you can gig with these 50 watts. You can. Um, and like I say, if you really need an effects loop, go for the hundreds or the artists, even, the Pearly King. Uh, but if you want like a bare bones and you don't need an effects loop, but you need something that's kind of like versatile, loud, and, and but you can use it home as well. 50 as well. And it's small. And yeah, outrageous. I literally do not have enough good things to say about the Boss Katana. They are one of my all-time favourite amps, bar none. You know, they're, they're up, these are up there with like stuff like the Super Crush here, the CR120, the Marshall MG, the Boss Katanas, man. Desert Island Amp. You would never be left wanting. You really wouldn't. Anyway, I'm going to go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, video on the Boss Katana Gen 3. Uh, like I say, uh, I am going to get some of the other different uh, models from Boss as well. Boss are going to send me, uh, I think they're going to send me the 100 watt Katana head, which I'm really looking forward to. Um... But this 50, man, jeez. I, I, give me a gig, man. I'll go with this. I keep saying... Well, I'm, I'm, I, I'm a bit overwhelmed. That's why I keep saying man a lot. I always get a bit kind of flustered. I'm going to go. Anyway, thank you very much indeed. Uh, if you like this channel, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. Links to that down in the description box below. As well as links to all my other stuff there as well. Uh, and please, if you uh, can... Please subscribe to my band's uh, YouTube page uh, called Red Giant. Links in the description box below. New album coming soon. Not about that, though. It's about this right now. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Next Sunday, people on YouTube will do a shootout between this and the Mark 1 50. And we'll just see what the deal is there. Because <sighs> I'm really curious. Anyway, see you again very soon for another one, people on YouTube. Have a great one. Uh, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. I can't speak. I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm, I feel shell-shocked. Because... When I plugged in the acoustic, I could have kept playing for hours. I had to stop myself. Every time I do one of these videos with an amp like this, it really inspires me. I have to physically, like, mentally stop myself from playing. Because I'll just keep playing. I'll I'll keep playing and playing and playing for hours. And then I ruin... And camera's dead and there's no footage and video's no good. Anyway, goodbye. Thank you much for watching. <sighs> Boss. What are you doing? What are you doing to me here? Are you trying to kill me, man? In the nicest possible way, of course.